In this video, we provide the solution to question number seven for practice exam four for Math 1050, in which case we have to solve the exponential equation when 105 times one minus 10 raised to the negative 0.1x power, and that's all equal to 6.5. Now, the decimals might be wigging you out right now, but honestly, since the answer is gonna be an exact form, we actually don't need a calculator to help us on this one. Of course, I mean, you can use it, but it's not actually necessary. To solve for x, which is right here, we have to peel the onion and get rid of all of the functions attached to x in the reverse order of operations there. So we're going to begin by dividing both sides by 105, right? Um, if you don't, and, and so that's going to give you 1 minus 10 to the negative 0.1x is equal to 6.5 over 105. If you don't like the fractions and the decimals together, especially since the answer doesn't have any decimals, we might want to get rid of them. Move the decimal over 1, you got to do it to the denominator as well. So that gives you 65 over 100. Uh, 1050. Um, that fraction, of course, can be reduced um, given that we know that 65 and 1050 are both divisible by 5. Uh, 5 goes into 65 13 times and it goes into 1050 210 times, like so. Uh, so the next thing to do is we want to subtract 1 from both sides. Subtract 1, subtract 1. Now, of course, on the right hand side, since there's a fraction there, I'm actually going to write 210 over 210 right? Uh, that then gives on the left negative 10 to the negative 0.1x power. On the right hand side, you have 13 minus 210, which is negative 197 over 210. Um, you can times both sides by negative since there's a negative sign right there. And so that gives us 10, 10 to the negative 0.1x is equal to positive 197 over 210. At this moment, how do you get rid of the base 10? Well, you get rid of the base 10 by taking the logarithm base 10. Um, on, we're gonna, so we move the 10 to the right-hand side, it becomes a logarithm. Just like over here, multiplication by 105 became division by 105 on the other side. Positive 1 became negative 1 on the right-hand side. So when you move it to the other side of the equation, you always take the inverse operation. So we end up with negative 0.1x is equal to log of 197 over 210, like so. And so then to finish up, we're going to divide both sides by negative 0.1, divide by negative 0.1. But negative 0.1 is actually one tenth. So if you're dividing by one tenth, uh, you're actually, if you're dividing by one over 10, you're actually times it by 10. So you end up with x equals negative 10 log of 197 over 210, like so. In which case, we then see the correct answer would be f. Now, again, if some of the arithmetic felt a little bit difficult here, this is what a calculator can do to help you. But be aware, a calculator was not actually necessary to solve question number seven.